For today's video we're going to have a quick look at the Xiaomi Powerbank 3 Pro. This is an updated version of the 2C and this was sent in via Banggood for a test. Now a couple of new features on this but I'll just show you the packaging first off so you can see what you get included. This does have the verification code on the back and this lists out some of the specifications which I will go over in a little bit more detail. The main feature with this is the Type-C connector versus the micro USB which we had on the previous version. Taking this out of the box, it's all sealed up in the plastic wrap so you'll have to take that off. Now the first thing I notice with this is it is a bit heavier. I have done a little test later on just to confirm the weight. It's also slightly larger than the previous version. It does have a matte finish on it and at the moment it's just in the black. The previous version was a bit more slippery with the white finish. There's your power button on the side on your test button. Peel off the stickers on the front. We have a glossy finish. It is a bit tricky to see the lettering and markings on this. And it's also a bit of a fingerprint magnet to be honest. It does look quite nice. It does give it a classy look for a power bank that is. But uh, I'll try and show you some of the lettering. But it is quite difficult to read that. The side switch on this is really just for testing the capacity of the power bank. It will automatically start and stop. That includes when you're charging the power bank or other devices and it doesn't seem to have that low power mode. Perhaps they've automatically integrated that. So a double press doesn't actually do anything on this particular one. But I found it fine with things like MP3 players and Bluetooth headphones. Included in the box you have a short 30cm Type A to a Type C USB cable. I'll start off with the dual Type A ports and they go from 5 volts up to 12 volts 1.5 amps which means they do support the quick charge you're limited to 3 amps in total if you're using both of those what makes the type c port interesting is that it's an input and an output and it supports up to 20 volts 2 amps which means that you can use it to power things like macbook pros and ultrabooks that have the type c connector here's the list that xiaomi have provided for compatibility i'm sure that that will increase over time but that's there for information for you I did do a test with all three of the ports in use and I found that it is limited to 3 amps in total. Maximum it will distribute the current between those. If you're using the Type C and the Type A, you are also limited to 3 amps. So if you want that quick charge, you want to use just a single port, either the Type C or the Type A, to get the fastest charging speeds. Quick look at the user guide. This is in Chinese, most of it apart from some of the specifications which I have already covered. A visual comparison next to the 2C power bank, the previous version, and you can see that it is definitely a bit taller and it's also a bit thicker. That's probably the additional circuitry. Biggest difference between these two, apart from the size, is the micro USB input versus the newer two way Type C. Quite a bit of weight on the power bank 3 Pro, you can see 440 grams, and I'll convert that over to Imperial for you if you want to see that. I've put the 2C on the scales, 360, so it is quite a bit heavier. That's probably due to a different battery they're using and some additional circuitry inside. So it's one thing to bear in mind, this is a fairly heavy power bank. Charging times were just over 10 hours with 2.4 amps, and we were getting around about 5.5 hours using a 39 watt quick charge adapter. You could possibly get slightly faster. This will take 45 watts in total. This is the charge capacity at 2.4 amps and it came in just over the 20,000 milliamp hour mark which is as the specification suggests. The next test I did was a discharge capacity test and that came in at 13,811 milliamp hour and that's using a single USB port so that is the best that you're likely to get out of this. That's my test complete on the Powerbank 3 Pro. If you've got any questions on this do leave a comment below and thank you for watching the video.